that are here this week, numerous students and adult leaders, women, men, young women, young ladies, young men, who we, we know what it's like to have an absence of a father in our lives, just not, not even present. Here's what you need to understand about God. He's there. put your faith in Jesus, you have a heavenly Father who will not ever, 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 ever leave you. He won't leave you alone. You won't do anything by yourself. You will never be alone. The Father is with us always. This is important because what happens is our, our personal experience with an earthly father gets projected onto how we view God. So if you don't have an earthly father, it's real easy to imagine that our heavenly Father is just absent or distant. When somebody identifies with you, when somebody's unashamed to be your friend, that's, that's cool. When somebody's proud to call you friend, God is like, that's my son, and I'm proud to call him my son. I'm glad that I'm, like, like I identify with him. We are in this powerful and beautiful relationship. I've saved him. I've brought him into a relationship. That's powerful. Some of you, that might be the most powerful thing that can happen in this whole business. Is to recognize that God identifies with you. Your mind. The Bible says, Paul writing to the Corinthians says, you're not your own, you're bought with a price. Therefore glorify Christ Jesus as Lord. So regardless of when history will come to an end, we have to live with the urgency that life is short and eternity is looming and the souls of men hang in the balance. Souls of men hang in the balance. So live it. Y'all go live it. Sons and daughters of God. So go live it out. Like you're supposed to. Like you can. Like Jesus expects you to. Like God has given you the power and the strength and the promises to.